So this here is Christian Vallejo. Uh, he's uh, one of our chief analogists here at Vic, and uh, and you know I was I wanted to ask Christian uh, why it's so great, such a great place here at Vic, and more broadly in Chile to grow grapes for producing wine. Well, ma mainly it's because uh, of two factors. One is the Cordillera de los Andes, which is a very tall one, and it's very close to the very close to the uh, to the ocean, and then. The ocean is very cold in this area, so cold that you cannot go into the into the ocean. Well, maybe, at least we we think it's very cold. You know, 10 degrees, and you go in, and then you go out like a special way. Yeah, I tried to go without one, I started, and it came out quite cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The good point point for that is that this very close, short distance, uh, we have a very tall cordillera. So that means that all the whole here here is very accidental. So you have hills everywhere. You have different altitude. You have different kind of soils, so so that's at the end give us a lot of different flavors, and that okay. it's the, a big factor to make a very complex wine. So, out of the skiing and the swimming in the in the ocean, this give us a very 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 a very good chance to have a very high quality wine, and that's what happens here. This is the best in, uh, the best example of, of all, all of this because. In, in this terroir, we have a lot of hills, a lot of different uh, soils, a lot of different sun exposure, mm -hmm. and these wind is coming into the property and give us the chance to have these very, very cold nights. So, here it's a place where you can have one of those big wines for, for the world. Great. Tell us about the work that we do on the, on the different grapes. I mean, it looks like there's been a lot that's gone into these plants. Yeah, well, we work very hard during the season uh, in the vineyards in order to have uh, very high quality. But one of the big issues during, during the horizon is to do the green harvest. The green harvest is to take out all the bunches that we don't like. Uh, at that time, we let, for example, just one bunch per cane. You can see here, you see? Yeah. Just one, one per cane. All these were the ones that we cut it. Normally one cane, one cane can produce two or sometimes three, normally two. So we, we just cut one and we let one. In that case we have 15 leaves working for one bunch. Okay? But in the, other thing that we, the other thing that we do, which is very uh, special, is that we cut, we cut the shoulders here and the tail. So we concentrate the flavor in the middle of the, of the, of the bunch, you see? We cut here the, the tail mm -hmm. and we and, and then here the the, the, okay. the shoulder. Yeah. So all the flavor you have it in the middle. So naturally this can, can produce two bunches with ta with shoulder and tail. But we let we let just one and we cut it all that. So it's a it, it's a big labor, a lot of work. But this is the way to to have a better quality. Okay. Very cool.